Oh, that's actually a semi over. But it's do four things. Each one This is uh, another script I've made in my series of scripts I'm making as I develop uh, uh, my website for uh, and my daughter uses Muse and so I'm kind of making some tools to make that a little cleaner. Um, one of the things in my previous video you'll see where I made a uh, uh, one video showing you how you can simply support PHP directly into your Muse project without having to do anything special. Um, you just upload a uh, some configs to your HT access file on your server and you can just publish your Muse projects like normal and PHP code can be supported directly in them. The next video I did in the sequence was uh, a YouTube playlist uh, which did a, has a lot of SEO features built into it. Um, but along with that, uh, of course, now we have Muse supporting scripts, uh, PHP scripts in them. A lot of pages are getting generated that the Muse sitemap which is a, just a list of all the URLs on your site that uh, search engines use to know what to index. To help, it helps them to know what to index. Um, Muse only creates a sitemap with the actual real pages that you've created in Muse, and therefore your sitemap is not going to have any of your dynamically generated pages any, by any of your scripts. So this little sitemap generator can actually be used by anybody, um, but I primarily built its features here for my, a person's needs with Muse um, and you know as my needs grow I'll probably refine this but for now this is what we got it's pretty straightforward you're gonna put in the file um, you in my uh, the comments of this in the description of this video you're gonna see a link to my website where this can be downloaded for free um, and again I ask you to keep all my credits intact uh, you know share my videos like my videos uh, you know so that people see that I'm out there um, I would really appreciate that, but you can use it for free. Um, so with that being said, you're going to put the, your domain name in this field right here. Mine is www.thejohnnyosho.com. Uh, your protocol, HTTP. Now if your site is running on a secure server you, and you want that as your sitemap to have HTTPS URLs in it, then you'd put HTTPS. Uh, frequency of one week um, is, is pretty pretty decent uh, for what you're going to need uh, if, if you start doing uh, a lot of changes with like if you're using my YouTube playlist script uh, and you're uploading a lot of videos or making a lot of changes you want that to be indexed sooner then you can make the frequency sooner um, but you got daily weekly hourly these are the options you can put there priority is one uh, being this is all the links are going to be generated the same equally so you might as well just set it to one um, and then this is the location of the sitemap where you want the file to be created um, so uh, in this example I upload all my scripts into a folder called the Johnny O show you can call the folder whatever you want but the sitemap is going to be one directory above that uh, on the server so basically once you've set those variables you're going to take the file it's called sitemap.php when you download it you're going to find a file called that and you're going to upload it so I'm going to show you how to upload it in this case with FileZilla uh, the last video I showed you how to do uploads uh, creating the files with cPanel but FileZilla is an FTP client and once you have it downloaded uh, FileZilla.org you can just google it um, or FileZilla you can just google it google it I'm sorry google it <laughs> All right. So you'd put your host name, that's the name of your server, like www.johnnyosho.com, uh, your username and your password to log in. You don't have to worry about your port, uh, assuming you got a normal server. Once you log into your server, you're going to find a series of directories. Um, on a cPanel server, it's going to have a public.html folder. Other servers may call it htdocs, etc. And so in there, you are going to have, I already have a folder called the Johnny O Show where I put all my scripts. You can call it that or you can call it whatever you want, but you would go create, you'd right click over here in your server list here, create directory, and you put the directory name whatever you want. Uh, this is just to give you an example, call it test, and then you can go into test, and then you can upload the script by just double clicking on it on this side, and wham, now this is on the server in this folder. Now I've already got it uploaded to the Johnny O Show, so I'm going to delete test because I don't need it. So it's uploaded to the Johnny O Show. So uh, and you can see that with my other scripts that I've, I'm providing for free. I've got the sitemap, 
Uh, redirector is actually something else I was divide, uh, designing. It's gone. I replaced it with Smart 404. That's 404. That's another video I, uh, I'm going to be releasing after this one. And then this functions and config is for the YouTube playlist scripts. Again, I've got videos for all this, um, but uh, this particular app is the sitemap. You can use this again without Muse. It doesn't have to be dedicated to Muse, but this is why I designed it. Um, so once you have sitemap uploaded, this is how it looks. And you can pull it from the directory where you uploaded it. In this case, like I said, mine, it's the Johnny O Show is the directory where I uploaded it. So if I run it just like this, I'm not going to see it do anything. It's just going to think away until it's done creating a sitemap. If I want to see its progress, however, I can just change the URL to this. Show progress equal 1. So if I change that, give it a second, and you're going to see it show the pages as an index. Uh, this page, it, it basically spiders your entire site. It won't duplicate the URLs. Um, it'll get each in, unique index, I mean, each u, unique URL, and it'll scan that URL for any images on it. It'll also create your image sitemap along with this. It's all in the same file. So you have all your images created in there and everything. Um, and so, again, nothing's duplicated. So once it's found all your images, it doesn't duplicate them. So these are all the images on this page. Um, and it just will keep going and you can just watch it go until it's done. Now I've already got the sitemap generated so I'm gonna stop this because that's basically what it does it just continues to run and this is what it will look like. Sitemap.xml so there you go there's my fav icon it just puts today's date as the date it was last modified um, weekly Priority is five, yada, yada, yada. Oh, actually, <laughs> I got to redo this. This is the, uh, this is the Muse. Actually, this is, uh, I, my daughter did just upload stuff on Muse. So this is the Muse sitemap. And of course, it overwrites the sitemap I want to generate. So I'm going to go back to this, and I'm going to go ahead and let it run. And it's going to create my sitemap. And I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so now the sitemap is created. So now we can go ahead and look at the new sitemap, and it looks like this. There we go. So it shows today's date, priority is one, each URL. It also does the images uh, in the sitemap. Uh, so there's the images. It also goes and carries over the title and the caption for the image. Uh, so we basically got a sitemap for everything. So we basically have a sitemap for everything. And uh, there you go. So like I say, it's just a pretty simple sitemap generator. Um, to give you an idea of where this comes into play, uh, you may want to create yourself a Webmaster Tools um, account on Google. So when you go to Google, you can go to Google slash Webmaster show you the whole URL. So basically it's webmasters and you don't have to type tools and all that if you just go webmasters it basically will let you just sign right in. So you'll want to sign into you'll want to create an account with Google. Uh, once you're in Google you basically can go into managing your domain and I'm not going to teach you all the fundamentals of that but you can go into your crawl. Let's see where is it? Is it uh, Google can't remember where to put it. Oh, sitemaps, right there. Sorry. So you go to sitemaps, and I just submitted the sitemap. So uh, it takes a little bit for Google to get around to actually doing it. So add sitemap, and then you would say sitemap. And then wham, you would submit your sitemap. And I'm not going to do that because I already just submitted it, and they've not done it. They've not really started indexing it yet. But that's how you would submit your sitemap. Uh, to, uh, to Google. Um, of course, they'll probably pick it up as well uh, automatically uh, because, you know, sitemap.xml is where it generally is designed to look. Um, but this is just a way to assure that they get it. So, there you go.
All right, so you've got everything uploaded. You've got your sitemap made. Um, basically, now it's done. You can, like I say, you can run that manually each time you after after you upload Muse, uh, your Muse project, and it overwrote the sitemap. You can run it manually, or you can go into cPanel if you have a cPanel server or whatever control panel your hosting provider has, or if it doesn't have one and you know Shell, um, you can go into there. If you have any questions, I can help you figure out where you need to do. Just post them in the comments. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to help you. But for example, on a cPanel server, you go cron jobs. And we're going to make mine just automatically run every, uh, every uh, other day of the week. So we're going to say basically at midnight or the first of the hour, at the beginning of the hour, at the beginning of the day, on the day of the week. And so basically you could say every other day, for example, is asterisk slash two. Or I could say every three days, uh, every three days. That's actually more probably appropriate. That way when my daughter doesn't upload, the sitemap for the most part will be updated. And that's, that's probably good enough. Um, so basically we want it to just be every month and we want uh, basically uh, every day of the week. So there we go. So now we're typing the command wget and q for quiet. Now you can use links, you can use wget, you can use curl. Uh, there's several ways to do this, but we're going to use wget HTTP. And you know, if it if if it becomes an issue, you're worried about security. You can put it in a secure directory, stuff like that. I'm again, this I just finished this, so um, it's just it's just the main purpose is it's functional. It'll do what you need. Um, beyond that, it's it's your responsibility. So there you go. And now this basically will automatically run every three days and update my sitemap. So that's it. Um, I hope you find this useful. Thank you.